Fiscal cliff negotiations seem to have hit a snag as the deadline for a deal approaches. Another day of dueling statements. First, the president. I have gone at least halfway. You know, frankly, up until about a couple of days ago, if you looked at it, uh, the Republicans in the House and Speaker Boehner, I think, were in a position to say, we've gotten a fair deal. Um, the fact that they haven't taken it yet uh, is, uh, is puzzling. House Speaker John Boehner rebutted the president with his own press conference, which lasted all of 51 seconds and called the president's latest proposal unacceptable. The president's offer of $1.3 trillion in revenues and $850 billion uh, in spending reductions uh, fails to meet the test that the president promised the American people a balanced approach. Enter Boehner's Plan B proposal, which would maintain the Bush era tax rates for everyone making less than a million dollars. So opposing Plan B means supporting a tax hike, according to Boehner. And the speaker said the bill will pass the House tomorrow. And then the president will have a decision to make. Uh, he can call on uh, Senate Democrats to pass that bill, or he can be responsible for the largest tax increase in American history. And he confidently uh, strides away from the podium. Chris Saliza. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> well, well I, he's showing um, a, a confident posture. But can Boehner really believe this thing will pass the House tomorrow? Well, uh, I would say, Brooke, that he would not make a claim like that if they did not have the majority. Now, it may not be by 100 votes, but a majority of votes for it already. He would not make that claim and then watch it go down in flames tomorrow and not bring it up. Boehner seems to be using this Obama construction. Obama used to be able to say, I'm for a middle class tax break. The Republicans are holding up that break right. for the rich. Boehner's using the exact same maneuver to yeah. now force Obama into, is that? He is, and you know, the Obama folks, President Obama, as well as his senior staff, as well as House Democrats, uh, are, are essentially saying, look, this, this would not get us to where where we need to go, the, the, this on a million and higher, uh, you know, that, okay, on a million and higher, we'll raise the race, but not before that. that this doesn't close, the, it does not address the uh, revenue side in a kind of an appropriate and responsible way. You know, I mean, at this point, I always say in Washington, when the two principals, in this case, there really are only two, President Obama and John Boehner, when they are meeting in private and the statements coming out of those meetings essentially say, we had a productive meeting, that there, the statement is a non-statement. That's probably a good sign if you believe that a deal should be reached. When they have dueling press conferences, now granted John Boehner's was, as you noted, less than one minute long, that this sort of public debate typically signals that an impasse has been reached and that the, the public debate is indicative of kind of the positioning for the blame game to come. So a big deal, not likely, in your opinion, at this point. I, I mean, <laughs> You know, it is it is fundamentally true about Washington and politics that it's always the darkest before the dawn. And like college students, they get nothing done before it is absolutely necessary that they get something done. So they have more more than a week to make that happen. Now Christmas comes during that time. There's they're going to be away. So I wouldn't say I never say never to quote Justin Bieber, but uh, <laughs> I do think that uh, it, it is a less likely thing today that we have a deal. Uh, a big-ish deal than it was 24 or 48 hours ago. Okay, Chris, thanks a lot. Thank you, sir.